How can we support the emotional well-being of older adults during COVID-19? During the COVID-19 pandemic, and particularly while in quarantine, individuals, including older adults, may become more anxious, angry, stressed, agitated, or withdrawn, especially those who need healthcare assistance or have cognitive decline or dementia. Here are four strategies that can help you in supporting an older adult during this difficult time. One, communicate information and listen. Present with accurate, simple, and accessible information and facts about the COVID-19 outbreak, its progression, treatment, and effective strategies to prevent infection. Listen patiently to their needs and concerns. For older people with mild cognitive impairment or early stages of dementia, inform them of what is happening within their capacity and provide support to ease their anxiety and stress. Two, promote positive mental and emotional health. Provide access to available mental health and psychosocial support services, also known as MHPSS services, for older adults and communicate when and how they can access them. Help older people keep regular routines and schedules as much as possible. You can also help them create new ones, including regular exercising, cleaning, daily chores, singing, painting, or other activities. Facilitate regular communication between older adults and their friends and families. Three, help with medical needs. Make sure that older adults have at least up to one month of all the regular medicines that they may require. Explain how to use protective devices in a clear, concise way. Always be respectful and patient. Four, assist with daily activities. Provide older people with details related to how and where they can get practical help if needed, like calling a taxi, dropping off supplies, having groceries delivered, and requesting medical care, as well as information on any locally available social support programs and services. For more information, consult the webpage of the Pan American Health Organization, www.paho.org coronavirus.